Hello, welcome back for another tutorial on Oracle Index. So last time we talked about uh, Bitter Index and then Reverse Bitter Index. And then in this uh, scenario, we're going to discuss some some uh, another kind of problem. So let's say uh, we have this employee table uh, in, our, in, our, in our database and then employee table uh, you know, has uh, basically a couple of, uh, you know, 100 rows like that. And then uh, if I ask you uh, to find out, uh, tell me what is the uh, job ID, uh, basically, you know, who are the salesmen in my company or who are the accountant in my company okay so to do that you need to probably give a, a, a you know query like select star from employee where where uh, job id is equal to accounting okay accounting okay so notice here that we never created an index on job id column in the previous two videos we already created an index on employee id but since we are asking this kind of questions, we cannot again use any index. We are going to do a full table scan. But now, let's say we are going to do a create index on this job ID. And if you create index job ID on a bitter index, then what's going to happen is that, you know, if you see, like, you know, if you do a distinct of your values, maybe you are going to, assuming that you are using the sample schema provided by Oracle some installation, that you are going to have accounting and somebody might have sales, engineering, and so on. Okay, there are a couple of maybe four to five rows max. Okay, so four to five, four to five distinct uh, value for this job ID: accounting, sales, engineering, and uh, development or something. Okay, so so now the question is, if you want to store them on a B tree index, so how do what 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 we could, what we could do that? Okay, anything between A to A to P, you go to the left side, and anything from P to G, go to the right side. Okay, so that way we are going to do, and then you know basically construct our uh, our uh, you know b tree index and then finally what we're going to do we're going to have something like accounting uh, row id again another accounting row id because in the multiple of accountings are there right so what we are doing here if you, if you store this thing if you, you know you can create an index like that and not not a problem but if you create an index like that what you are doing is you know you are repeating this accounting multiple times with the same, with different row ids Okay, and also like if I ask you another question, what is job ID is in accounting or in sales? Okay, I put some more condition here, right? So basically, in that case, this B tree index may not be a good implementation. Okay, and to 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 so I hope you understand the problem. The problem of implementing this kind of you know basically you know uh, you know a, a scenario where we have uh, you know we, where we have you know uh, repeating values. Okay, so we are repeating values. B tree index may not be a good idea. To Oracle gives you another type of index called bitmap index. Okay, so bitmap index is basically the way to solve this problem. So let's try to analyze what is bitmap index. In a bitmap index, it's say two-dimensional array. In one in one column. Okay, so let's say this is. You know, a two-dimensional array. So I'm going to draw like this: a two-dimensional array. In whatever the distinct value of this job ID, like accounting, accounting, and then let's say another thing is called sales. Say another another uh, another job ID is uh, called clock. Okay, so a two-dimensional array. So basically, you know, let's have this thing: accounting, sales, clock, and another step for sake of completing this, uh, you know, table called it's called engineering. And then, what we're going to do in this columns, we are going to have the actual number of rows here. So let's say this table, the employee table, whatever I'm doing, has hundred rows. Then, one, two, three up to 100 is it clear so this is what i'm going to going to clear so now what i'm going to keep here a either a zero or a one okay so the value of this cell can be either zero or one depending on if the one the row id one so basically the, the employee id of steven steven is a basically let's say this is a clerk okay so if it's a clerk then this accounting value will be zero and then clock value will be 1, other value will be 0. 
okay let's say this employee at number two is a sales person then that value will be one other value will become zero let's say employee id three he is a engineer so employee is this is this bit is one other bits are zero so this is the way that we're going to construct a bitmap array okay and by constructing this bitmap array let's see how we are going to how the query is going to going to respond to this kind of thing so the moment you do say select star from emp where job id is equal to sorry where job id is equal to accounting then what is going to do is goes to this is going to scan to this row here okay and wherever we have one okay so wherever we have one is going to return that row id okay so if the moment you do accounting is going to scan this thing accounting and then you know let's say this if this is one uh, this is one so basically is going to return me row id four and five okay so this is you know this is going to be very fast because it's just going to do going to scan only this one and then also the, the operation that is going to do you know just a binary operation a bit operation now let's say somebody gives you a query select start from mp where job id is accounting or job id is clerk so what are the employees they are satisfying these two condition this thing can answer your thing right now so employee id accounting is this row clerk is this row so since this is a or so what you do you take these two things and do a logical or on this thing so 0 1 is okay this that the value is 1 so therefore you're going to return the row id 1 0 0 no it's not a accountant not a clerk therefore it's not going to return not going to return then it's again 4 is going to return and 5 is going to return okay so look like you know by doing this thing if whenever we have this kind of condition in the query okay so this kind of implementation of index is much faster you i i tell you you can create also a bit a b tree index on this thing but in this case b tree index will not help but here is another problem the problem is whenever we are going to do some update so update employee say the job id is equal to something else you say from accounting you put something else so we're going to put from accounting to say some salesman okay for employee id say 54 so we're going to update that one in the base table and also we need to maintain the index that means we need to update this accounting bitmap to 54 that means what is going to happen that time just to update the employee id 54 this guy is going to lock the complete accounting data that means all the employees who who are supposed to be accountant they are you know because we do not know at this time you know, we know this 54 but we, but we want to update this bitmap right so in order to update this bitmap we have to lock the complete entire detail of the accounting the employee ids whose job id is accounting okay so that is a big problem whenever you have a old tv system where we are trying to do some update delete and those kind of things if you are doing then definitely bitmap index is probably not the, the right way to implement your thing but whereas bitmap index has a huge use use case in the data warehousing kind of application where we are doing some reporting where we are doing some reporting on some some read only data so that is the way that if you do a bitmap index in that case it's going to you know it's going to, it's, it's going to improve your query you know like a humongous way i have seen in my real life that something that's going to take 10 minutes can be done in the fraction of a second by using bitmap index but you should understand the bitmap index uh, you know uh, bottleneck and also another thing that if you want to know you cannot you operate in new quality operate, operators like so for example if you want to select sharp from mp where job where job id is greater than you know cells or not equal to cells it's so greater than cells in those kind of things you cannot use by you cannot get by using bitmap because bitmap is very very, very binary you know it's either either the thing is there or not it doesn't do any inequality operate operations